Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am going to just do a small um, page sh album share actually. It's not the whole album at all because I've given it away. But I did keep a few pages from it that were my favorites. So um, if you like any of these pages and would like to copy them, you can go to my website. There are design space links for every page. There's a huge album there. Um, so, uh, I hope you like it. So, this is The Bride. I, um, I start, I, I like the wedding album to tell a story. So, I start from the beginning of the day and do everything in chronological order. That's just what I do for a wedding album. But, um, anyway, these are pictures of the bride. And so, she was sitting poised on this couch in different positions so I found this image so I liked it a lot so I did it um, kind of like her her dress was all lace uh, and um, so I used this lacy paper for this so I did Kiwi Lane templates on here picked a, a cream and, and a camel background uh, I, I guess it could be gold. Um, anyway, and then I picked three coordinating prints. Um, picking, I picked this floral print first, and then I picked coordinates from these colors that went with it. So that's how I decided my Kiwi Lane. And then I embossed this top one and inked it all with white. And because this was an elegant room in a hotel suite, I did a chandelier hanging between these two photos. So I did a, a lovely frame, all coordinates. Um, they all match, and then I added some pearl gems to the chandelier, rhinestones as well, and in her hair. Um, I think it's a, a beautiful bride page. So... Um, Now, here's another one. I just love this page. So this is actually, I gave all these away to the to the mother of the bride. It's my sister's. This is my niece. So I don't have very many pages from this album, but I do love this. Okay, so this is Kiwi Lane. And because of the brick wall, uh, it's a very dark photo, and they're leaning against a brick wall. So I... You picked this paper because it looked like, reminded me of the brick. And then I put this image on top of it just to tone it down to tie in the black. And then I chose some papers. And this is very orangey brick. So that's what inspired the photos. And it also had cream, like the background. So And her dress was very cream lace. So... This looked like lace to me. I did. I cut out um, circles from the Martha Stewart circle punch, and um, used another piece of it here. The three different areas. I used lace border punch to make this border on top. I added these dandelion images in here, tucked them in, and did them in cream here so they would show up against the black there. Used a little border here, added some jet uh, gems to all of this, and I lifted and embossed these, these flowers, top and bottom, and put so in love, because they do look just so in love. So I love this page and the way it turned out. One of my all-time favorite pages, if I say so myself. Oh, because this, I did um, shadow this, with uh, black because it just wasn't showing up. So I cut it out twice, once in the rust and once in the black and just slid it down a wee bit. So, beautiful page. <clears throat> now this is a page of the bride and groom right after the ceremony. And uh, they were walking down the aisle and they looked very relieved. And at the end of the aisle, she just posed, she just automatically went down and I think she was so happy that 
it was over and it was all the stress of the day would be done and it was just time to have fun. They did have um, candles on the floor all up the aisle here. So that's what inspired this candle border that I put here. And then I just cut her in a big oval and then added this oval, um, this, uh, the end of an oval, an image that I found. I think these images are from Reminisce, which is a cartridge I love to use for weddings. They're, it's so classy. I repeated this image as a corner up here on this part of the photo. And this is all glitter paper. There's actually green glitter on this. I don't know if it'll even show up as green. But, um, so this is a, a purchased border. I, I cut it, a piece of it here, and I used a full one under here. And I put happy here because I had never seen her so happy. Her flowers were green and white, so that's why this paper was chosen under here, the green and white. So it's all green and black and white. Um, I, I did a border that I put under the photo and under the photo, but on top of the frame. So that was a little bit different. Okay, I do like this page too. And, okay, so before we left for the wedding, my sister was at my place and we had our pictures taken together. So I, I had this cartridge with a beautiful gazebo image and I wanted to use it, um, so I thought that I could use it as a frame for this photo because it was outdoorsy. So I did, I embossed the whole gazebo in a wood finish and then I inked it with a mossy green. Um, I added these images, they're all from botanicals. And the this was um, a large image and there was a back to it because it was a 3D gazebo that you could build. And here's the back of it, this part, and these gates. So I used them on the opposite page um, to create a frame around this photo. So you may recognize this. I use this on Facebook for my, um, my portrait, my, my face. So anyway. Um, I just love this page. I did emboss. I'm going to lift it so you can see the textures with the embossing. I embossed the tile to look like tiles or shingles, and then the wood is all, um, it, it, I just love the way it looked. I did put a tiny little border behind here just to add a little detail, and then I added this border of leaves up top. Um, a few stickers here and there and there's another one there this is a very delicate one there well, anyway I love this page and green is my favorite color and I love that dress too <laughs> okay I love those shoes I was wearing that day as well okay so here's um, portraits of my husband and myself with the bride and groom so um, I used, um, I just, this is a Kiwi Lane piece here. And then I, I created a border there. I used this image. I think that's um, iron, um, ornamental iron. Some of those images on that cartridge make lovely frames. So I did this great big image from ornamental iron and, and tucked the photo underneath and this one underneath. I filled in with a co the coordinating paper from here. I filled in some of the spots and I also matted these photos in that same paper so it would coordinate. I then just cut out ovals and mounted a great big white flower on top of the uh, concentric ovals and I did a few flourishes here and there and this is um, another image like this that I just used to tuck behind here for interest lovely wedding pages um, 
And this too is the guests, my sister and I here. Um, so I, I used Kiwi Lane um, borders along there and along the top. Then I put a branch image up here with some leaves. This was, we, we were, she was in blue, I was in green. So I picked, that's why I picked this paper. And um, I, I put a title on all dressed up. And these flowers and butterflies, I just used more images. I cut this out of the paper, cut that out. It's fussy cut, most of it. The only things from the Cricut are the branch and the frames, these two frames. And instead of framing this photo properly, I switched the frame sideways and just tucked the photo into it and angled that. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this sampling of the wedding album. It's wedding scrapbook number four at meandmycricket.com. There's a link below and you can watch or you can copy all, any of these pages that you would like to. So thank you for watching. Happy scrapping.